Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a journey through a world of human domination known as the Anthropocene. The twist? You are living inside it. You are the virus. virus hey, welcome to the human place. 50 years ago we put guys in space on the moon. Looking back at Earthrise, pale blue dot was a sight for sore eyes. We've come a long way since the World War, cause then ain't nobody seen the whole Earth before. And Vonnegut, winner of the Pulitzer, said it looks clean, but it's an illusion, sir. You can't see all the hunger in the dirty smoke and fire, in the trash everywhere. Weapons of mass despair now kurt was right in a way but we can see these things from space here's the smoke and the trash and the haze side effects of our modern ways because we're living in a new kind of age and that's the topic today welcome to the anthropocene it's a new point in time in history and i don't mean the type talking about a cherry tree or the 300 Greeks at Thermopylae. This is the big leagues, natural history. Where a couple hundred years is a joke. I'm talking millions of years ago. Pterodactyls, volcanoes, trees that turned into coal. And these things, I don't know. But this is the geological clock. And some scientists say there's a new epoch, which is bold because it goes down to the rocks which are as old as T-Rex, even tetrapods. A big event is called a boundary. And this key event is KT. It's coated with dust that's otherworldly. Space stuff cause an asteroid hit the Earth, see? And caused the dinos to disappear. So you'll never find dinosaur bones here. And further up, the ice age is clear. Which woolly mammoths must have found super chill. But here's where it starts to get real. Human beings are making their mark too. With the consuming, polluting, nuking we do. So for eons these rocks will appear new. Due to the footprint of me and you. The first person to say this was who? A Dutch chemist by the name Paul Crutzen. Who in the year 2000 got rude. When he heard the word Holocene used. He said, dudes, the Holocene's time has ended. I got reasons for days to defend this. 30 to 50% of the Earth's surface has been transformed by humans. We produce more nitrogen than the entire natural ecosystem. We are living through a mass extinction event. We've transformed up to half the Earth's surface. Cultural landscapes are ubiquitous. Yeah, but we still keep it natural on half. Yo, there's so many problems with that. Even some of the wilderness got sacked. Cause Canada makes oil from the sand. So now they're mining a place the size of England. Yeah, the Garden of Eden is now gone. Probably replaced by a perfect green lawn. The natural landscapes left are super dicey. Like the tundra 24-7 icy. Permafrost is frozen year round. So trees can't even grow in this cold ground and tundra comes out to one tenth and deserts another 30 percent so this is the natural land left the ecumen is no longer pristine we got seven billion peeps to feed reason two for the anthropocene human beings are nitrogen fiends we make more than every forest and grassland and savanna and crazy bush in the badlands just to feed the plants that we turn into gas or face masks or snacks manufactured in mass the fertilizer retackles nitrogen out of whack and that creates a cycle that will never get back to equilibrium the old ways are done water's filling with scum eutrophications when the nitrogen gets dumped into the waterways 
Changing the rivers and lakes from green to blue Now what are the fish gonna do? There's no light or O2 at the lower depths And it's sad but true But that means that the fishies are dead Which brings us to the third reason Paul Cruz said We're in a new time Extinction rates have climbed so high Past the point when people first arrived It's a thousand times higher than if we weren't alive And that's big People are killing machines It started way back when we arrived on the scene Out of Africa into every continent Hell bent on causing chaos everywhere we went Now big creatures are gone Megafauna are through Except in Africa because they learned to cope with you In Australia all that's left's the kangaroo And there ain't nothing bigger than a llama in Peru The woolly mammoth was a victim of the hunt The giant sloth has been found to have cuts and this saw uh, what the anyway it's a mass extinction today because you can kill a big animal with a spear but what if you mess up the atmosphere you warm the earth which warms the ocean blue which is acidified by the extra co2 warmer earth means melting glaciers meaning rising seas and also glaciers melting in the mountain peaks which leads to drought for mountains no more water comes out you can go and ask India what that's about How about nitrogen disruption degradation Or sea level rise causing salination Plastic pollution Ozone depletion Or the big bad habitat destruction Caused by monocultures and urbanization Extractive industries and the draining of wetlands And if we don't destroy where you live Then you might just get poached or overfished this kind of carnage causes hair on your neck to stand on end going back to when life began. There have only ever been five extinction events for which half of all species resulted in death. Now here's where it starts to get ridic. Homo sapiens are the cause of the sixth. What kind of company does this place us in? Let's take it back a couple hundred million years to the end Permian. The Permian was caused by an endless volcano. Only 5% lived to see the age of the dino. Then there was a mass impact event. An asteroid the size of Mount Everest hit incinerating everything in sight of it in the earth spit fire which blocked out the sun from dust ash debris and mass eruptions but if you're shocked by what happened at kt just imagine getting blasted by a grb some say a gamma ray burst and cooked the sea interstellar irradiated death sneeze so that's the company homo sapiens keeps another reason we're living in the anthropocene nitrogen fiending mass extincting landscape altering beasts craziest creature mother nature ever let off her leash yo we're here for the long haul and we're bringing our 